Hello everyone, in this lecture we will be going over 1985 AME problem number 9. Here is a view of this problem. In a certain circle, we have parallel chords of length 2, 3 and 4 determine central angles of alpha, beta and alpha plus beta. The question is asking for cosine as alpha. Uh, the angle which kind of subtends this small length 2. We're also given a condition where alpha plus beta is less than pi. So let's try to go ahead and draw a sketch of this circle and then see if we can uh, ha have some sense of what's going on. So I'm drawing a relatively large circle here and I will go ahead and draw some of these segments. So the center of my circle is probably somewhere here. So Angle alpha is related to the side length 2, 3, and 4, as we said. So, 2, so let's have angle alpha something like this. So, that's my angle alpha here. Um, okay, so the opening here is alpha. And this distance here is has a length 2. So, in a similar way, I, can, I know that the next angle at beta will have a, a larger opening, which is parallel to this one, so probably something like that. As I said, it is parallel. So that opening here has length 3. Uh, it, sub, it is subtended by an angle. Um, actually, let me go ahead and use another color here, so because it will make life easier. So I have this one. So this length up here is three and the angle like that is beta and finally we have the last one so let's have a blue color for that one alpha plus beta will sub uh, uh, will subtend an arc which measures a length four so that angle that central angle measures this whole angle is simply alpha plus beta and the length of that chord that it subtends is just 4. So I need to find out a certain configuration which will um, kind of do the trick. In this case, because I can see there's the summation of angles, I can just move those triangles in a certain way such that uh, alpha plus beta will give me the, the sum that I need. So for that, the trick which will hold uh, will be the following one. I, let me redraw the circle. And again, we have the center of the circle. Actually, let me move the circle slightly up. So something like that. So the center of that circle is again here, O. But now I will be very careful. So I will first draw the um, the the green one. Huh? So the green triangle, which had an opening too, in a similar way, like I did previously, like this one. So it's pretty narrow opening, probably, like that. And this length here is given to be, this chord is 2. But this angle here is alpha. And then beta, what I will do is I will upend it underneath that. So therefore, beta will look like something like that, I would say. Huh? So that's beta. And that length here is 3, and that's beta. But what's so beautiful is now the central angle, the sum of it is just alpha plus beta here. So how wonderful. So therefore, the blue one will be, the blue chord will be this whole thing, and it has length 4. Now what I want you to do is to focus on this new triangle. So let me call this one as point A, B, and C. So I can go ahead and on that uh, triangle ABC, I can write down um, the area of the triangle. So let me uh, highlight the triangle of interest, basically this one up here. So I will try to find the area of this triangle, 2, 3, 4 triangle. So let me actually, uh, yeah, so the best way is let, let me move to the next page and let's make some calculations, area calculations. So I have a triangle with side length 2, 3, 4, and I will calculate the area in two different ways. So first of all, the semi-perimeter for this um, 
triangle is equal to 9 halves. So therefore, using Heron's formula, so we would have 9 halves and then 9 over 2 minus 2, 9 over 2 minus 3, and 9 over 2 minus uh, 4. And that whole thing will come out as 3 over 4 root 15. Alternatively, I can write the area of this triangle as 1 half the side length times the sine of the opening between these, and then sine C, angle C, I can write it in terms of the law of sine, that would simply be equal to C over 2R. So therefore, that's an alternative way to find, write the area of our triangle. And I already, uh, so let's plug the givens here. So we already know the area is 3 over 4, root 15. So that whole thing is equal to, um, uh, the side lengths are 2, 3, 4, so 2 times 3 times 4, all divided by 4 times r, where r is the circumradius. So that would imply r circumradius, or the, of our circle, uh, the radius of our circle is 8 over root 15. Now finally, Focusing back on my previous slide, so let me go to the previous page. I will apply law of cosine actually on the triangle OAB, on triangle OAB, because this is R, this is R, so OA is R, OB is R, and this one is 2. I already calculated the value of R. I can easily find the cosine of this angle using the law of cosine. So therefore, applying law of cosine, apply law of cosine on triangle AOB. So therefore, I have 2 squared is equal to R squared plus R squared minus 2 times R times R cosine alpha. From here, we would say that cosine alpha is simply equal to 2R squared minus 2 squared. So 2R squared minus... Oops, 2 squared, all divided by 2r squared. And that, once you plug in the 8 over uh, root 15 for r, we, you get 64 over 15. You do the algebra, and cosine alpha comes out at 17 over 32. So as a result, the answer is 17 plus 32, because the question is asking for the sum of the numerator and the denominator. So therefore, it comes out beautifully as 0, 4, 9, and we are done.